Okay, this is for uh, everybody who has the Mavic 2 Pro or Mavic 2 Zoom with the regular camera and not the Hasselblad. I do not know what the situation is with the Hasselblad. I think it's exactly the same in terms of what needs to be done with uh, repairing the problem of gimbal motor overload, uh, a, a error code 200. Um, what, uh, what is seen on the internet um, is this multi-ended ribbon that's very narrow with very small connections and, and meticulous and tiny and scary and you have to dismantle your whole uh, camera assembly and that is that's hard if you're lucky enough to have this it's much simpler I would take it apart for you but uh, I don't want it. so sorry my dogs are fighting over some yeah okay thank you I I, I, I do dog care so there's dog care. okay Coco thank you Coco Thank you. Okay, so anyway, um, there are screws here and here. You take off this first cover. It's a little bit uh, peculiar, try not to break it. You'll, you'll notice that there's little pins, plastic, going in either side. You have to kind of pry one end out and then manu manipulate the other end out. Under that, there'll be two little screws right there and there. That's, that's one whole side of the, of the assembly. Uh, the other access point is underneath the screws, underneath the camera, right here in the corner, and here in the other corner. And when you take this out, just those four screws and the cover, this whole camera assembly comes out. It is attached by the ribbon that we're talking, the ribbon uh, connector that we're talking about. It is wide. It has a, a big connection at the end. It is easy to take off. One end on the camera end has two little screws that, uh, that hold a cover to hold it on. And the other end you just pry straight up and, and the, whole, the whole connector, it's about, no, oh, it's about a half an inch long. Um, it just comes right out of its seat. So I was going to replace that ribbon because that's what I'm told was the problem, but I didn't really see anything compromised, so I took a chance and I put it all back together, reseated everything and re reinstalled it all and put all the pieces back together and it worked again. It worked again. So it might just be that, at least on this unit, that there's no damage to that little wire, it's just that it needs to be reseated. 